Oh, look at that. We have some work. Oh, here. Oh, a similar approach over here. First of all, you'll notice that the radius and the slant height are almost equal. Next, notice that the top formula, we have almost pi r squared for our lateral surface area, and on the bottom we have pi r squared for our base. So the formulas are almost identical, except our slant height is slightly larger than our radius. Looking a little closer, you can see that if the slant height were the same as the radius, we would essentially have two flat circles, and it would simply be the area of two circles, so pi r squared plus pi r squared. The first pi r squared is the area of the base, and the second for the area of the lateral surface. If we look at a taller cone, I like to think of the slant height as if we're pulling the center of a flat circle upward. So in this case, we have a slant height that's double the radius. So instead of pi r squared for the lateral surface, we're dealing with pi times the radius times the slant height. This is because the slant height was the radius for that second circle, and we've simply pulled it upward. Therefore, the surface area of a cone is the area of the base plus the lateral area. So for area of the base, we have pi r squared. And for the lateral area, instead of pi r squared, the second radius now becomes our slant height. And that's why the formula is modified.